For the first question, we are going to figure out what square root 0 0.49 minus 7 over 4. And as we can see right here, all the answer choices are in the decimal form. And therefore, we are going to figure out what square root 0 0.49 in the decimal form. Also, we have to convert the fraction 7 over 4 into a decimal. Let's begin by figuring out what square root 0 0.49 is. And let me put it down right here. Square root 0 0.49. And to figure this out, we have to ask ourselves, what times itself will give us 0 0.49? And the answer for that is 0 0.7, not 0 0.07. Square root of 0 0.49 is equal to 0 0.7. Why? Because, so this is B slash C stands for because, okay? If we take 0 0.7 times itself, so 0 0.7 times 0 0.7, we are going to get, first we can just write down 7 times 7, we know it's equal to 49. And then we have to count how many decimal places do we have altogether. 0 0.7, we have one decimal place. And this 0 0.7, we have another decimal place, right? So altogether, we have 1 plus 1, two decimal places. So we look at the number 49, and then we start from the right, right here. And then I'm going to move 1, 2 to the left. And I'm going to place the decimal point right here. 0 0.7 times 0 0.7 is equal to 0 0.49. So that's how we know. Square root of 0 0.49 is equal to 0 0.7. Alright, and then we are going to figure out what 7 over 4 in a decimal form. There are a couple ways to do it. Maybe you can just think about this as 7 over 4 as we have 7 quarters. If you have 7 quarters, how much money are we going to have? If you have 7 quarters, we are going to end up with a dollar and 75 cents. So this is one way to do it, okay? But then we don't deal with like, you know, over 4 all the time. Maybe if you end up with like 7 over 8 or, you know, some other numbers on the denominator, then that doesn't work, right? The quarter, 25 cents, doesn't really work anymore. So therefore, what we can do is we can always use long division to change fraction into the decimal. And let me do it right here for you guys. I'm going to put the long division sign right here, and I'm going to put a number on the top. It's always a number on the top inside. So I'm going to put on seven right here, and then four, the bottom number, I'm going to put the outside. It's always the bottom number outside, the top number inside. And then I'm going to just go ahead and divide. Four goes into seven, we know one time, because one times four, that's four. And then for long division, we're going to subtract. 7 minus 4, we get 3. In this case, I need to continue because I'm going to finish up this remainder. And to do that, I'm going to place 1 and then a decimal point right next to it. And I'm also going to put decimal point right here. And then if you look at the inside, 7 point, it's the same as 7 point 0. And by putting the 0, I get to drag this 0 down here. And I can look at this question as 4 goes into 30. How many times? And the answer for that will be 7 times. 7 times 4 is 28. And then you see we can continue from here. And then once again, we need to subtract 30 minus 28. That will give us 2. We are not done yet because there's a, you know, the remainder. Well, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to look at 7.0 as 7.00. And the reason for that is I can drag this down here. So I can look at the question as 4 goes into 20 how many times? Well, 4 goes into 20 exactly 5 times. 5 times 4 is exactly 20. And then after we subtract 20 with 20, we have 0 remainder. And if this is 0 right here, we are done. And the answer is pretty much right here. That's how we know 7 over 4 is equal to 1.75. Okay? So this is pretty much like a... Uh, appetizer, we have to just do this to get ready for the main dish, which is the final subtraction right here. So I'm going to do that right here for you guys. I'm going to put down the original question again. Square root of 0 0.49 minus the fraction 7 over 4. And then this, we know it's equal to 0 0.7 minus, and we know that 7 over 4 is equal to 1.75. I'm going to show all the work for you guys because remember, we cannot use calculators on the actual test. So, 
to subtract 0 0.7 minus 1.75, what we do is, because this is a subtraction, I'm going to put down the bigger number, which is the 1.75 on the top right here, and I'm going to minus the smaller number, which is the 0 0.7. And then to subtract decimal numbers, we are going to line up with the decimal point. So I'm going to put down 0 0.7 right here. So as you can see, I line up with the decimal point, and then I'm just going to go ahead and subtract. 5, this is a 0, so 5 minus 0 is equal to 5. 7 minus 7 is equal to 0. And then 1 minus 0 is equal to 1. And after that, I'm going to just line up my decimal point right here. So the result is going to be 1.05. Whenever we subtract numbers, we always put down the big number on the top, the small number down here. And then just go ahead and subtract them. After we have the result, let's put down the result right here, 1.05. But then we have to worry about if this is going to be a positive or a negative result. And to figure that out, we are going to look at this again. And as we can see, this is a positive 0.7. And we are going to combine this with a negative 1.75. Which is bigger? The 1.75 is bigger, but it's a negative. You go with a bigger number sign. So therefore, I'm going to put down the result. This is negative 1.05. And therefore, as we can see, this is the answer, negative 1.5, and that's the answer, choice D. And that's it for the first question.